here to talk to you about augmented reality. But instead of showing you some graphs, images, offering explanation, we thought it would be better if you could experience it firsthand. So by now it's obvious I'm not Marco, but for the next couple of minutes, I'll be a host for his virtual presence. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> I would like to thank Jana for having me. Uh, we decided to put this spin on the traditional TED Talk presentation to have you all share the excitement I had when I first came in contact with the augmented reality. Augmented reality is this incredible new medium that enables you to express yourself in the space around you without any limitations. And all you need is some basic technical knowledge. So, uh, what exactly is augmented reality? Augmented reality is a technology enabling layering of virtual data on top of your physical reality. This means that holding up a marker to your webcam, you can trigger a sequence of on-screen videos or animations overlay on the live webcam image. Or, to just hold up your phone, look around you and see fun and useful objects and information as a part of your immediate environment. Here are some possibilities. My head, or myself, is an example of face recognition. This already enables you to try virtual glasses, experiment with different haircuts, and so on. <laughs> the other important aspect, and something you probably in one way or another had the opportunity to experience, is geolocation AR. Imagine just pointing your phone at Kalamedan Fortress, and instead of remains, see how it looked like hundreds of years ago. In a way, through AR, the environment becomes a white canvas for all sorts of additions. This could be some useful information, such as closest ATM machine, or apartment for rent, or some artistic interventions, or even political statement. By the way, this is not the first time I made my presence virtual. Using this feature, last year for the year 2011 exhibition, I was digitally present at the gallery and visitors could see me and talk to me by pointing their phone at the empty gallery space. However, at this point, maybe the most interesting aspect of augmented reality is image recognition or 3D recognition. It enables any common object to be recognized, becoming a medium for digital reinterpretation. Hope you can all imagine how cool it would be to learn about the solar system if the planets would circle in the space around you or to understand complex reactions in physics or chemistry if they could happen in 3D in front of you, in your hands or on your desk. Or to read fairy tales where you would use your mobile phone to discover hidden secrets and new twists to the stories. Well, I like to think about it as a tool for enabling wonder. AR provides artists with an unparalleled and extensive universe of possibilities, with infinite degrees of freedom. AR enables the creation of artworks and concepts that could not have been realized with just physical or just virtual means. This is how the first AR historical exhibition happened in Belgrade at King Peter House. Or how the first interactive AR stencil was pasted on the streets of Belgrade. For me, it is not just a tool for artistic expression, and definitely not yet another geeky thing. The changes it introduces are so encompassing and revolutionary that it is my feeling that we are talking about the ultimate new mass medium, something like the motion picture at the beginning of the last century. But even more than that, we are talking about the platform of the future, the medium which will integrate all other media. And it's a great time to be playing with it. Thank you. And thank you for me.